Welcome to Evolution of Self with me, Britannia. Hello. So this episode is all about resistance. And I mentioned it a little bit last week in last week's episode. And I'll put a link to that episode in the show notes below. So if you want to, if you're curious about what I was talking about and how it relates to today, then you can find out. But I want to speak about resistance because life flows, um, energy flows, and the only thing that ever stops it flowing is resistance. And quite often we think that it is life that is resisting us or something comes up and it makes us it makes life hard or it's a challenge and we find it difficult to get past it or it's uncomfortable or whatever it is. But those words, uncomfortable, um, a challenge, hard, we are programmed to think that certain scenarios are those things. And as soon as we think that, as soon as that thought comes into our head, we feel resistance. So life is never hard. It's never difficult. It's only as difficult as we resist it. So the greater our resistance to something that's going on in life, the harder it feels to us. And an example of this is that um, many years ago, I think I was 15 or 16, I, I remember my mum had to sign the sort of permission for me to do this. I did a bungee jump um, and I did it off a crane in the north of England. And the weird thing was when I went up, I was not scared in the slightest. In fact, I was quite looking forward to the experience. And I remember talking to the guys at the top of the crane and they were like, are you ready? And I was like, yeah, cool, I'm absolutely ready. And they were like, you know, you, you know, you frightened or whatever. I was like, no, I'm really looking forward to this. And then they counted me down, you know, three, two, one, jump. And I jumped and I, I had no hesitation in jumping. There was absolutely no resistance to it at all. But the sensation of falling freaked me out. <laughs> I felt like I wanted to be sick and pee myself all at the same time, but I was too frightened to do anything. And ever since that time, I have been scared of falling, not scared of heights. Um, I thought it was a fear of heights at first, but it wasn't because if I'm high up and I feel safe, I have no fear. It's only when I feel that I can possibly fall that I get fear. But as I'm somebody who likes to challenge myself in life, and I don't like to have fear holding me back, I've done a number of things over the years to try and overcome this particular fear of mine. I don't think I'm quite there with it yet, but it hasn't stopped me from doing things that um, I feel would sort of be quite fun, but also help me to try and understand the fear. One of those things is I did a gorge swing with my son a number of years ago, and I've done paragliding and various things like that. And in relation to what I'm talking about this week is that fear of resistance. Nowadays, if I go to, say, do a gorge jump or if I go to do paragliding, it is a lot harder <laughs> than it was the very first time I did the bungee jump. And the reason it's harder is because of my resistance to what I'm about to do. It's because of the fear and the sort of memories that have gone with the things that I've done in the past that make it hard. It's not the actual act of doing it that is hard. And even for myself, like when I did the bungee jump, making that first jump was never hard. That was really easy. And that's why I say to you that the only thing that makes life hard is our resistance to it. And when you can see that, when you can truly understand that it's only your resistance to life that makes it hard, then you can try to start softening that resistance. Try to start accepting what's going on in life trying to understand and acknowledge that the only thing that makes it hard is you. Because when you acknowledge that, you take the power back and that means you can do something about it. And that something might be trying to find the positive in whatever it is that's going on in your life, because there's always a way to find a positive. Um, and last week I spoke about um, the Japanese art of sort of painting things with gold or sort of fixing things with gold and silver and how it actually makes things more beautiful. And, and, that's, and I spoke a little bit about that last week, about how you can turn things around and start to allow gratitude into your life for what's currently going on. And the more gratitude and the more acceptance you have for what's going on right now in your life, whatever it is that's making it hard, the easier it is to relax into it. And the more you relax into it, the less you resist it, and the more life is able to flow. And the faster it flows, the quicker whatever it is that's uncomfortable for you passes. And the more you can get on to doing the things that you really love in life. 
I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, please pop a like and subscribe so you don't miss any of the future ones. And I really love to hear from anyone who listens to these. If you have any questions or have any comments, just pop them down in the comments below because I look at all of them and I will respond. If you're interested in any of my online courses or any of my coaching, there's links to that in the show notes as well. Have a fabulous week and I'll hopefully see you next week. So much love from me to you. Bye bye.